Emily's tiger. I don't want my hair cut, Emily pouted. <coughs> Emily, please sit down, Mum sighed. No, Emily growled and then she gave her loudest, loudest tiger roar. Not again, Mum groaned. Come here, you rascal. Emily bounced around the room and bounced out of the window. Oh, Emily, Mum sighed again. What are we going to do with you? Later at Evie's party, the clown announced, I need an assistant. Me, squealed Emily. I chose Evie, the birthday girl, said the clown. But I want to be the helper, growled Emily. The clown shook his head. Emily stamped her foot and gave a huge roar. Soon Evie's party was in chaos. Oh, Emily, sighed Dad when he came to take her home. What are we going to do with you? At dinner time, Dad tried to persuade Emily to eat some carrots. I don't like carrots, Emily snapped, and swishing her long curly tail, she swiped her plate right up in the air. Oh, Emily, groaned Mum. Just then the doorbell rang. Hello, I'm here, sang Granny as she pranced around the, through the door. It looks like a zoo in here. What's been going on? I got upset, Granny. I don't like carrots, Emily hung her head. Oh, Emily, smiled Granny. What are we going to do with you? I know, let's go upstairs. I want to share a secret with you, whispered Granny. She turned away and then she looked back. Granny gave a loud tiger roar. Emily jumped back in surprise. No need to be scared, pumpkin, Granny assured her. I only turn into a tiger when I want to. That way I can turn myself into a happy tiger instead of an angry one. And happy tigers have much more fun. Emily's Tiger.